Current advances in AI have been so exciting and there's been a lot of interesting innovations that are taking place. One of those is the ability of there to be intelligent agent swarms. So in this case, we're going to be talking about drones and many of them. A swarm is considered anything from four to a thousand or even more drones working together in a coordinated manner without human supervision. So imagine drones like this, but a thousand of them flying around and coordinating with one another to achieve some sort of mission. This sounds like really scary sci-fi movie stuff. However, there are some helpful and beneficial situations that swarms of AI drones can actually help society. Let's discuss some of those. So the first that I could think of is disaster response. So think of search and rescue missions. For instance, a hiker gets lost and there's a search and rescue mission. This is where AI drones can fly around and coordinate with one another another and try to seek out this person, maybe using something like heat sensors or if you think of maybe an avalanche occurred and there were a few skiers that got buried but might just be stranded somewhere, there is a search and rescue operation with AI drones that can go ahead and try to pinpoint where these people are, saving really valuable time that can dictate the outcome of the rescue patient. Also, environmental monitoring. So think of wildfires. Like I'm over here in the Northeast and we just recently had Canadian wildfires and the air pollution was horrific for this area, New York City, New Jersey, and beyond. So with AI drones, they can have thousands of drones that just monitor certain areas that are prone to catching fire so that if they spot warning signs or actually see wildfires occurring, they can report back. Now, remember, AI-powered drones, they are intelligent in the sense that it doesn't have to be a person just sitting there staring at the camera that's being shown footage from the drones. It can on its own differentiate between what is a wildfire, what isn't a wildfire. It can also have machine learning embedded in it so that it can learn as it navigates as far as what some of the signals are for a wildfire. And aside from that, it could be good for crop health, right? If you have huge fields and you wanted to monitor those fields, you can also have payloads on these drones where you can attach certain things. You can even plant seeds with them. I mean, we all think of like, oh my God, drones and they have guns on them and they shoot things. And we're going to cover that later in the video, but it doesn't necessarily have to be an ominous payload like that. The other way it could be helpful as far as monitoring goes is there are some borders of some countries that definitely need better monitoring and they just don't have the personnel to do it. So if you have drones that could just seek out movement and then send those signals back, that can be helpful in that sense as well. And then also they could totally be used for entertainment. For instance, light shows. These drones can coordinate to move in such a way that they could draw pictures in the sky, and they could really make light shows something very interesting so that you don't need these extremely expensive fireworks that are potentially dangerous and at the same time just last a little bit and then you just have no more use for those exploded fireworks. Whereas here, you can reuse these drones as you please, you can change the color, you could play with it, and you could create some really nifty stuff. So we just talked about the beneficial aspects of AI swarms, but Imagine now AI drone swarms used in a negative manner. So the first is privacy. Maybe there's mass surveillance by governments like China or North Korea or the US. It doesn't matter where. There is always a potential for misuse of surveillance. Also, the US military has been known to outfit their drones with lethal payloads and deploy them. This takes the human element out of warfare. So what do I mean by that? 
Well, this drone right here, imagine it being able to carry heavier loads and it's been outfitted with, let's say something that could fire weapons or a type of bomb on it so that you could just fly it into something and it explodes almost like a kamikaze drone. This is a really big issue because when you take the human element out of it, then you don't care about the casualties that much. It raises a lot of questions about autonomy, accountability, and again, the potential of misuse. What are the ethical implications of using AI drones in warfare? How about chemical warfare? There can be some really, really evil people that in their basement just 3D print drones and then create swarms of drones that fly around and drop off chemicals. And that would be an absolute nightmare. That is really, really hard to detect really, really hard to control. Imagine a jet just releases a bunch of drones and the drones then go and wreak havoc and have already been programmed by nefarious individuals to do harm to civilians, to the environment, to geographical regions. This is something that is definitely being talked about behind closed doors, in the military, within governments. Think about the defense systems. So think about Israel and the Iron Dome, right? Now, when rockets are fired at the Iron Dome, it detects them, it shoots a rocket, and it clips it out of trajectory, everything blows up, and it doesn't fall on top of the people, right? But now imagine that there are thousands of drones flying around and at the same time there's missiles flying as well. Would something like the Iron Dome be equipped to differentiate between drones and actual missiles? Is that going to impact the calculus that is occurring in the defense system to fire a missile, to go ahead and blow up the missile that's coming and targeting the actual region within Israel. This is all something that, aside from Israel, can be used in any country. Every country, every ship, everything that has to do with naval or military defense has some sort of sensors to see if there's a threat in the sky or in the water. And now imagine if thousands of drones are confusing that system. It's not going to be able to respond accordingly. And currently, this is very unexpected. So you can imagine that a lot of countries are going to be caught with their pants down when it comes to these types of attacks, and they are definitely in the works. And this is a part of AI that personally I'm really worried about. Because when you're talking about using AI in warfare to do harm to other people, again, to take the human element out of it, to take the accountability out of it, it's very different when you have ground forces and there's people shooting people and there's soldiers dying there is a human element to it there's a casualty element to it but if you take the people out of it and you just use ai drones to accomplish certain missions this can turn into a very dicey situation and the other thing that worries me is the scalability of this it is so easy to manufacture thousands, hundreds of thousands of drones and deploy them maliciously or not maliciously on a country, on a group of people. And that can definitely result in some really devastating consequences. So I'm actually curious on what you guys think. Have you heard of AI drone swarms? Is this something you should be concerned about? Is this really far out in the future? Or is this reality that is happening right now and we should be aware of it?